10 largest extinct snakes any character in a b-list film would yell snake snake upon spotting a specimen stretching longer than a school bus truly enormous snakes really spark people's imagination but it's kind of crazy to tell you that reality has exceeded the fantasies of Hollywood paleontologists have unearthed fossils of giant snakes so large that you'd be fascinated to know the snake that tried to eat Jennifer Lopez in the movie Anaconda is not as big as the biggest one we have in our list today oh yeah you might probably know about it but did you know that there were also other prehistoric snakes that you might have never heard about and so today we decided to bring you the top 10 largest prehistoric snakes now let's get right to it number 10 Najash 1.82 meters 3 feet 3 kilograms 6.61 pounds Najash Rio Negrina is named after the legged biblical snake Nahash Hebrew for snake and the Rio Negro province in Argentina where the fossils were discovered this rear limbed fossil snake garnered a great deal of media interest as it followed earlier reports of fossil marine snakes with rear limbs what made Najash unique was that it was a terrestrial snake living in a desert not an aquatic snake living in the ocean number nine Hasiophis 1.82 meters 3 feet 3.17 kilograms 7 pounds Hasiophis was an early snake that lived in the late Cretaceous period Hasiophis is believed to be from a slightly earlier time period than Najash and unlike Najash Hasiophis along with other early snakes from the same general region were found in marine deposits and thus must have lived in a marine environment had vestigial hind limbs number eight Eupodophis 1.82 meters 3 feet 3.5 kilograms 7.71 pounds Eupodophis also existed in the same period as Hasiophis its fossils were first discovered in Lebanon Eupodophis is a classic a transitional form as anyone could ever hope to find a snake like reptile of the late Cretaceous period possessing tiny less than an inch long hind legs complete with characteristic bones like fibulas tibias and femurs number seven Dinalicia 3 meters 10 feet 11 kilograms 24.3 pounds coming in at number seven we have the Dinalicia Patagonica which is one of the best-known Cretaceous terrestrial snakes native to the late Cretaceous Anacleto formation of the Nequin province Argentina the snakes round skull indicates that it was an aggressive hunter rather than a timid burrower this snake made an appearance in the BBC series walking with dinosaurs but it's said that the final episode death of a dynasty from 1999 featured such a blunder involving Dinalicia number six Santa Je, 3.5 meters 11 feet 18 kilograms 39.68 pounds the viper that ate dinosaurs whole that lived in the woodlands of India yes that's quite true given the remains of the snake was found with the newly hatched eggs of a titanosaur now I'm sure you'd be thinking that this serpent fed on dinosaurs but it's actually likely that it hunted baby dinosaurs that measured about two feet because of its narrow gape and basically feeding on smaller predators the Sanaja belonged to the Maastrichtian period of the Cretaceous epoch number five year long 6 meters 19.68 feet 80 kilograms 176.37 pounds taking the tenth spot in our list is the extinct serpent your which was a giant prehistoric snake a large apex predator that was a part of the extinct megafauna of Australia that lived through the Miocene epoch to the Pleistocene one thing that makes your stand out from other snakes related to it is the fact that it has perhaps one of the most completely preserved skulls so far recovered number four Monambi 6 meters 19.68 feet 95 kilograms 209.4 pounds this prehistoric serpent lived during the Pleistocene epoch the Wonambi is a non-venomous constrictor that hunted much like the modern-day pythons and boas killing its prey by asphyxiation 
Despite its killing efficiency, it fed on smaller prey, presuming that it was unable to open its mouth wide due to its small sized skull. The Aboriginal people living in Australia at the same time as the Wanambi were certainly aware of the presence of large snakes and indeed warned their children about going to watering holes alone. Number 3. Metsoya 9.14 meters, 30 feet, 150 kilograms, 330.7 pounds. Belonging to the late Cretaceous Pleistocene period, the Metsoya was a constrictor native to the woodlands of South America, Western Europe, Africa, and Madagascar. This snake was one of the largest of its time, and its fossil indicates that they were active during the time of the dinosaurs. Because only scattered vertebrates were discovered, scientists assume that they could have grown to a much larger size. Number 2. Gigantophus 10.05 meters, 33 feet, 500 kilograms, 1,102.31 pounds. So, the second largest snake to have ever crawled the earth is the Gigantophus. Many of you might not know this, but for over a hundred years, the Gigantophus was regarded as the largest known snake that ever lived millions of years ago. The title was well deserved given that Gigantophus was a giant colossus, estimated to weigh about half a ton, and its distribution may well have ranged across the expanse of Africa and Eurasia during the Eocene Epoch. You know, we're pretty lucky that this behemoth doesn't exist anymore today. However, like many other creatures in the history of life on Earth, Gigantophus had the misfortune of being the biggest of its kind until its fame was eclipsed by something even bigger. Number 1. Titanoboa 15.24 meters, 50 feet, 1,135 kilograms, 2,502.24 pounds. The mighty Titanoboa there shouldn't have been any doubt over which snake was going to take the top spot because the Titanoboa is a true titan of a snake. The monstrous snake was in a league of its own. The Titanoboa was a true monster even among prehistoric snakes. To give you all a clear idea about its humongous proportions, you can assume that it was about the size and weight of an extremely elongated bus. Talk about overkill. The Titanoboa lived in a hot, humid climate during the Paleocene Epoch 66 to 56 million years ago, most remarkably in the South American countries such as modern-day Peru and Colombia. Imagine if this monster was still alive today. What a terrifying sight it would be. Well, that was all for today. Make sure you subscribe to our channel for more videos like these. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.